uh, I'm a software engineer by profession. However, uh, I joined my family business like uh, two years ago and uh, while we were looking for uh, opportunities for expansion, um, e-waste came up as one uh, possible area for uh, expansion because as a rough estimate, almost 15 to 20 percent of the world's e-waste is being dumped in Pakistan as of now. And uh, the market is mostly dominated by informal players. Um, so we thought that uh, it was a joint idea uh, of me and my father. We, want, we, we wanted to uh, kind of uh, bring the market in a, in a regular pattern and we wanted to introduce this as a, um, as a business stream uh, within the economy. Uh, because most of uh, the business being operated as of now is, is unregulated, uh, it's undocumented and it's not really adding up to the economy, uh, rather it is having negative impacts both on human lives and on the environment as well. However, um, after joining in um, the BBC program, uh, my view has kind of, you know, it, it has changed after meeting so many people. Uh, coming from similar backgrounds and the way they are operating within their own economies. So I started off with this really big idea of recycling, but having uh, coming here and having uh, ha you know after having conversations with all these people, I realized that I need to start small. Uh, so it's given me a, given me this new horizon, uh, given me a whole new landscape uh, to to try to absorb and understand uh, what's the best way to start. Um, so I, I was expecting a very uh, traditional training kind of thing, usually what happens uh, in such boot camps. However, um, I, was, I was kind of delighted to see that um, I've had the chance to meet people who, who were otherwise unreachable for me. Uh, so people from Yumicore and all these, all these European uh, big recyclers and companies who are coming in and who are giving their perspective. Um, so it's good that I've had this opportunity to connect with them. And secondly, I, I mean, I'm, I'm much more clear on my business plan now that I'm here. I mean, it just took me 48 hours to, you know, to clear a lot of, I came with a lot of questions and most of them are solved um, as of now. And plus all these people that I've met, um, so including the team, uh, Federico and Dipali and uh, uh, Elise, plus all these people who are coming in for presentations and sessions, uh, they're very uh, reachable, right? Um, so it's easy to ask questions. It's easy to discuss, um, so they're not uh, the intimidating corporate giants. Uh, they are rather very friendly, very warm, um, very reachable, and I think that's the that's the best part of the boot camp. That I now have a uh, kind of an ecosystem of people that I can kind of depend on uh, for information, for for consultation. Um, I have a network where people have actually offered me that once I have my facility, I can reach out to them, I can talk to them uh, for downstream processing, uh, for upstream uh, recycling, whatever it is. So whatever the needs of my business are, um, I feel much more confident now that I'm going back. Um, I'm much more clear on the business model. Um, so I think uh, I, I wouldn't have done it without uh, without this. I mean, I was I was totally blank, but now uh, you know I I'm, I'm clear on what I'm going to do and where I'm going. So um, I think this was this was the best part of the of the camp.